I'm really depressed, you guys. I'm so depressed that I can't do what I really want to do. <laughs> it's like, I will come up with so many excuses as to why. I do this every fucking week, you guys. <laughs> we we uh we use these to uh, clean stuff at work, but they make really good hankies also. It's all in my head. It's just in my head. Like, why can't I get out of my head? <laughs> it's so stupid because it's like last night. I was high as fuck on Wikipedia, and I was reading all about dopamine, and like, <laughs> my brain, and like how it's so screwed up, and how I'm just basically doomed, right? And, uh, I mean, it's like I have all these videos where I just talk about like how important comedy is and, and yet I can't even go <laughs> and I remember somebody at an AA meeting saying something about how it's like you do anything for an addiction you know like I remember walking to like a liquor store in a blizzard. The liquor store was very far from my house. Like, it was like an hour long walk, at least. But I really wanted fucking liquor. You know? It's like I needed it. I told myself that I needed it. And, like, I need to do this. And yet. I'll rationalize why, like, I can just do it next week, you know? Like, oh, well, they'd better hold on to their hats next week because what we come with next week is going to be fucking mind-blowing. Like, I'll do this where, you know, I'll just lie to myself, just like I'm lying to myself right now with, with cigarettes. I'll say that we're going to work really hard in our head. But that's stupid, you know, because I've been working really hard in my head my whole fucking life. It's just like, I see other comics get up there and and they're either funny or they're not funny. There's really only two ways it can go. And I don't think that they're struggling like this. I don't think that they're, you know, talking themselves out of the going because they're so terrified of doing what they're supposed to do. Like, <laughs> I feel like comedy is some sort of like, like, I feel like Batman about it, you know? <laughs> I 
like I had this really weird dream where I was like on a bridge. You know those like rackety bridges? Like, oh, you're, you're a really like ballsy person if you cross this rackety bridge, right? But like nobody's gonna fucking fall. But like I had a dream that I was on a rackety bridge <laughs> and then I just fell straight through it. <laughs> then I woke up. Awesome, right? Yeah, man, it's all because you start smoking again. It's your fucking paranoia that's manifesting itself into your uh, subconscious. And um, and this is what I'm going to do tonight. I already know. Like, I'm going to be spending all night just, like, chain smoking, reading on myself, reading on, like, the, 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 the secret deeper meaning of dreams. You know? Like, this is kind of shit I do. And I have 238 gigabytes in my storage. I've already used up 237 just yakking, you know? And I haven't put up any of this shit. I'm totally slacking. I just want to let you know what cigarettes really do, okay? <laughs> Zappo was super productive. So I tell myself, oh, well, you know, I'm going to be like the comedy Zappa. Like, no. <laughs> uh, it just makes me so mad. Because, like, I haven't taken a shower. That's why I'm wearing this hat. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Like, I'm supposed to do this. But if I'm saying things that I feel like are very controversial, very uh, counterculture, very, like, anti-everything, anti-America, anti-government, anti-you, anti-him, anti-her, anti-them. Makes sense why you're terrified. I mean, I'm just looking at this from, like, some sort of, like, I don't know. I feel like Frodo and... <laughs> I'm, like, going to fucking... Middle Earth, you know. It's not like you were ever in the fucking Shire. Don't act like that, okay? <laughs> I was obsessed with this TV show called Six Feet Under. <laughs> Surprise, surprise, I'm obsessed with death, and I love this show. Um, it was really good. It was pretty lame for, like, two seasons, and then, like, it it went back to being really good. And they had, like, the best series finale I've ever seen. But, uh, the main character on this show that I hated, I, I, <laughs> I hated, like, I usually hate the main character. I've realized this because the main character is usually terrible, but like all the other like supporting characters are better. Um, but the main character is a funeral director. Like he, he becomes a funeral director, but like he is running from it, you know, because he, it's what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to help people. He's supposed to like talk to grieving people during their time of ultimate despair and loss and mourning and like he's scared of it he's scared to face like what he's supposed to do and that's just what this reminds me of like because <laughs> I have to do this this is at this point I don't I don't really think it's for me I don't think it's like for my salvation you know like because there ain't nothing saving my ass other than cannabis. I'm supposed to, like, go to my parents' house and, like, drop off the rent. And, like, I don't think that I can do that today because I'm too fucking depressed. Like... Earlier, like right before I went to bed at like 7.30 in the morning after I like went through almost an entire pack of cigarettes, um, I like, 
told myself like, oh, it's raining now. It's raining. So I don't, I'm not going to go to the comedy thing tonight. It's not raining anymore. It's it, the sun is out. And like, I'm still telling myself that there's this possibility that it might rain. So I'm not going to go like, you know how fucking stupid that shit is. Let's talk about addiction again. One time I biked to Dole Foods because I had I had a drug dealer at Dole Foods. Believe it or not, there there are people there that work at this wanna be goody two shoes. I'm doing the right thing, I'm saving the planet, I'm saving animals, all that shit. Corporation. There are people there that sell drugs. Um but yeah, I I biked. And, like, I biked all the time anywhere, um, anyway, but it was, like, about to, like, start pouring down rain, and I still biked for, like, 30 minutes to pick up some drugs, and it started hailing, right? I was biking in a hailstorm, but I had drugs, so I was fine with it, you know? And, like... It makes so much sense, though. It makes so much sense why I would, like, <sighs> talking about storage space. Um, <laughs> makes so much sense why I run from something that I'm supposed to do. Well, you don't have the camera crew up there, you know, monitoring everything that you say and do. So because you don't have the camera crew, it's like you lack your like most reliable defense mechanism. So explains the stage fright and explains why you, you know, go out of your way to not have to do that. And you can just stay here and shoot videos and, like, be that person that you want to be for the vortex, right? Just hoping that the right person sees it. I mean, it's good that you're doing the YouTube thing. That's really good. Like, you should give yourself credit for that, but... I gotta call my mom, you guys. <laughs>